So I'm breaking down protein synthesis into two uh, videos so that you can just watch one or the other and it's not a super, super long video. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is transcription. Okay, so transcription um, is the first part of protein synthesis. It happens in the nucleus. All right, and the idea is, the overall idea is that you are making a genetic copy of the DNA in the form of, RN, of messenger RNA. So what you're actually creating is you're creating mRNA. All right, and so what, what happens is this, the process, please make sure that you are very clear in your mind about the difference between transcription and uh, DNA replication, because there are lots of similarities, a lot of parallels, but they are different processes. And so you need to make sure that you can uh, compare and contrast those. So for example, transcription, um, sorry, not for example, but so transcription starts out with the same thing. So you have the DNA here, okay? And it is unwound, okay? So the DNA un unwinds or unzips, and again, when you do that, okay, the idea is that what you are breaking is you're separating the nitrogenous bases um, by breaking hydrogen bonds. Okay. And in DNA replication, there are three enzymes that you should know. In proteins, in the transcription, there's only one, and that is RNA polymerase, okay? So the only enzyme that is involved in this is RNA polymerase, and it basically does everything. It does the unwinding, and it also does the um, addition of the, the phosphodiester bonds between the, poly the mononucleotides, okay? So this is your enzyme. So you can, again, there's a point in it for you if you mention it, and you can mention it here if, at the beginning if you want, or you can mention it later because it does all of the steps, all right? So again, you're breaking the hydrogen bonds and then you have free RNA nucleotides come in. Mononucleotides if you want, but uh, nucleotides or mononucleotides can be used interchangeably. Your mark scheme usually doesn't differentiate, all right? So free RNA nucleotides um, match. And the idea here is, again, unlike DNA uh, synthesis, or sorry, DNA replication, where both strands are being used as a template. There is only one strand that is being copied into the mRNA. Um, so they match with the exposed bases only on one strand, so on the template strand only. Right. Um, and then the idea is that uh, this is still using the complementary base pairing rule, but I would always mention, uh, I don't know if I need to spell that out for you guys, but I guess I will, complementary. Uh, always mention, of course, the idea that because we're now talking about producing RNA, you're not pairing A with T anymore. There is no T in mRNA, there's only U. Um, and so you would say A with U with uracil and then C with G, right? This is no T in RNA. So if you have RNA nucleotides, you don't have any thymine there, okay? So the free RNA nucleotides match with the exposed bases. And then again, you have RNA polymerase, which I'm gonna abbreviate RNA Paul, um, binds these free nucleotides together. So it creates phosphodiester bonds or catalyzes, you could say as well, since it is an enzyme. Uh, between the RNA nucleotides and that is what leads to the create uh, the creation of the mRNA strand. 
Okay, and then as a final thing, so the idea is that the mRNA then dissociates from the DNA, and that's also a difference from protein uh, from DNA replication. So the mRNA um, is detached from the DNA and leaves the nucleus. And if you want to say via nuclear pore, you can do that. That is the final step of transcription. All right, I'm going to pause it here and try to do a little drawing of this. Okay, so I've only drawn it on one side because that's the only side that's important. Um, but of course, you would have the DNA, uh, the other DNA with the exposed bases here. But the idea is that this is so this is your newly formed mRNA, right? You can see that it's the complementary base pairing, but I don't have any T's here on my mRNA, okay? Um, and so the idea, yeah, so this is your mRNA strand, right? And then once it's done, once it's um, trans, once the entire gene, gene has been transcribed, then the idea is that this dissociates, um, the DNA zips back up, and then the mRNA leaves the nucleus, which I realize that doesn't look like it leaves. Hmm, only slightly better. 